From ancient Roman giants to a species of humanoids with massive bones and towering frames, here are eight of the biggest real-life giant skeletons found in archaeological digs. Number 8. Nephilim In the Bible, there is an account of an ancient species of human-like giants that walked the earth before the great flood of the famous character Noah. While Noah built a giant ark to contain two of every species of animal, according to the story, these giants were swept under in the great flood and perished far before modern science could have found them. But their skeletons, in theory, might still be out there. There have been countless different claims over the years in parts of the Middle East where people say they have found physical evidence of the giant legendary hominids, but no scientist would ever tell you that the story is conclusive. There could be realistic explanations, but some people who believe in the Bible will tell you that the clearest answer is simple. These are the mysterious and infamous Nephilim. Additionally, the Nephilim have been said to be fallen angels, or offspring of God. Whatever they were, the claims that their fossils have been found were almost instantly ridiculed by scientists. Skeptics will always try to come up with a more reasonable explanation without resorting to the influence of the divine. But the truth isn't quite clear. Most often, these discoveries of bones turn out to be those of large extinct land mammals, but occasionally there is a find that scientists can't quite explain away. Those are the ones that make for the most interesting stories. Number 7. Chinese Giants In eastern China, there have been discoveries recently of a group of humans that would have been taller than the average modern day man. And that's particularly impressive because humans thousands of years ago were significantly smaller than they are today. With today's nutrition, who knows how tall these people would have grown. Scientists found 5,000-year-old skeletons of human beings that the archaeological experts say would have been particularly tall and exceptionally strong. They measured the skeletons found in graves in Shandong province, and according to the measurements of the bones at the site, a number of the people would have measured at over 6 feet or even taller, with one man estimated to have been over 6 foot 4 inches. Reporters from the Chinese news agency Xinhua were astonished. Given that they lived during the early Bronze Age, their height would have been exceptional. They would have been total giants and could have easily defeated smaller groups of people in combat. Many of their contemporaries would have been terrified of them. This is just based on bone structure. If he was a living person, his height would certainly exceed 1.9 meters. This is according to Professor Fang Hui, who is a leading authority on Chinese history and culture at Shandong University. Apparently, the genes for height have been passed down because local residents of Shandong are significantly taller than their Chinese countrymen. On average, the men of Shandong are about 5 foot 9 inches compared to the average Chinese man who is closer to 5 foot 7 inches. Could you imagine fighting with stone or metal tools against a group of Chinese warriors as big as NFL linebackers or NBA centers? It would be a losing battle for sure. How tall is the tallest person you've ever met? Have you ever befriended someone who was 7 feet tall or taller? Most of us have met people at least 6 foot 6, but some of us know folks who are truly uniquely tall. Let me know your tallest acquaintance in the comments below. Then be sure to subscribe to The Biggest if you haven't already to get more awesome videos right when they come out every week. Number 6. Roman Gigantism Skeleton This big boy was found in Fidene, which is located in Italy close to Rome. His skeleton was sitting in an extra long tomb, which makes sense because the skeleton itself indicated that its previous owner was a man who stood more than 6 feet 8 inches tall. What was the reason for this giant among men showing up in ancient Rome nearly 2,000 years ago? According to scientists, he was not a mythical creature. He actually suffered from a disease called gigantism. Gigantism is caused by an overactive or damaged pituitary gland, which is a small part of the brain that controls the release of human growth hormone. 
Yes, that's the same HGH that bodybuilders talk about, and it is a steroid. But your body produces some of it naturally, or in this case, unnaturally, as acromegaly, which is like gigantism when it continues into adulthood, caused this man to perish at a young age. The researchers in this case estimate that this man died between the ages of 16 and 20, which was common before there were helpful medical treatments for people who suffered from extreme pituitary activity. There is a good chance that the condition caused this person to encounter early problems with his heart and lungs, which had to work extra hard to pump oxygen through his entire body. His burial suggests that he was a normal member of society though we all know that the ancient Romans had a strong curiosity about people with physical differences, like dwarfs or people who were missing limbs. Perhaps he was even a mini-celebrity during his time on Earth. Number 5. Old Krogan Man The most famous body to have ever been preserved in the muck of a bog deep in the middle of Ireland was named Old Krogan Man. He was discovered, of course, in a bog beneath a place called Krogan Hill, in a county called Offaly in Ireland, and scientists declared that their analysis from radiocarbon dating proved that he died over 2,000 years ago, between the years 362 BC and 175 BC. Of course, part of the reason he was so famous is that he was extremely tall. He stood over 6 foot 6 inches in height and was likely a rich man. Why? His hands told the story. They were well manicured and not gnarled with years of hard work. They show that he was not used to manual labor, of course. One of the most interesting things about the old Krogan man is what scientists discovered about his diet. They examined the contents in his stomach and realized that his last meal was made of cereal grains and milk. Do you think they had an ancient version of Wheaties or Cheerios for travelers in Ireland? But scientists went further and examined his nails to see if they could discover more about his diet and nutrition. They found that his diet did actually contain a lot of meat overall, which certainly makes a good case for him being a wealthy man. After all, who else but the rich could have sat around without doing manual labor and yet still consumed meat? But this tale gets worse. The man did not die a peaceful death. How could he when his body was dumped in a bog? Scientists tell us that he was tortured, with wounds from a vicious execution that included cuts in his arms and a disturbing gash across his midsection. Why did he receive such a disturbing death? The man was most likely a failed candidate for king, or a king who presided over a series of very poor harvests, who lost his claim to the throne and was put to death as punishment. Just like they say in the famous television show of the same name, you play the Game of Thrones, you win, or you die. Number 4. Giant of Castelnau The legendary Giant of Castelnau is a theoretical creature that lived thousands of years ago, and was discovered in the year 1890 by Georges Vachet de la Pouge. But he only found three bones and extrapolated the idea of a giant from there. The three bone fragments were a humerus, tibia, and femur, simple arm and leg bones that looked to be of an enormous size. He dated the bones to the Bronze Age, or even the Stone Age, but it's unclear that they were actually from a humanoid creature. According to the paleontologist, they were human bones, belonging to one of the biggest humans ever. He estimated from the bone size that the human may have been over 11 feet tall. That sounds ridiculous and other scientists quickly called the whole discovery a sham. However, modern researchers have yet to publish a peer-reviewed study about these giant bone fragments. The discovery came from France, and the findings were actually published in the journal Nature. That means at least a few scientists believed that they could have been legitimate. Of course, multiple scientists at the University of Montpellier took it upon themselves to examine the bones, and they actually agreed with the discovery's legitimacy. At least three different professors agreed that they were humanoid and belonged to an abnormally tall person. In fact, Dr. Paul Keener, an anatomy professor at Montpellier School of Medicine, 
said in his own words that they were of a very tall race, but of morbid growth. Could these have been actual human bones from some monstrously gigantic man? Could the tale of Goliath have had its roots in people like this? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Number three, Carré Bypass Giant. Recently, archeologists from a place called Satu Mare uncovered the skeleton of a man who stood over six foot seven when he was alive. This was in Romania and the discovery has begun to cause a lot of excitement with the specialists who investigated it. How did they find it though? While doing construction, of course. A new road called the Carré Bypass was being built when workers bumped into something unique. Archaeologists who dusted off the bones believe that the man was a warrior from the Bronze Age. This means that he could have lived any time between 3500 BC and 1000 BC but he would have been absolutely stunning to his contemporaries, towering over them by more than a foot. The large size of the skeleton was particularly impressive, but after removing the dirt and dust that encased it, the researchers made another discovery. According to professors in Romania, the man's skeleton was discovered with a dagger on his head, which leads us to think that he is a warrior. A number of deer antlers and pottery were also discovered nearby which means that this could have been a settlement in the early part of human history. The archeological site had fountains, ovens, and food storage locations, which means that there are likely many more revelations in store. Number two, Bulgarian giant skeleton. A giant human skeleton was recently unearthed in Varna, which is a small city in Bulgaria. Archaeologists there recently uncovered the remains of what they have seemed to think was a massive human in the downtown area of the city, which sits on the shores of the Black Sea and has had humans living there in numerous cultures for more than 7,000 years. This area was once part of the ancient city of Odessos, long before the country of Bulgaria even existed. The city was a trading port and was built by the Greeks over 2,500 years ago. The city changed hands numerous times and sat under the control of the Thracians, Macedonians, and even the Romans. The Roman incarnation of the city apparently had magnificent public baths, which are now the largest Roman remains in Bulgaria. Researchers have said that the initial analysis indicates that the skeleton belonged to a man from the year 400, which was a time when Odessos started to become a Christian city. Archaeologists who are actually on the scene excavating a new discovery reported that the size of the bones is exceptional, as they clearly belong to a very tall man. But they couldn't say the exact height. Do you think they simply didn't know, or didn't want to make an educated guess? Or do you think that they were asked not to reveal the truth, because it was more shocking than we would expect? It's possible that this skeleton was truly monstrous but we won't know for sure until it's displayed in a museum. Because of the location of the skeleton, it's been suggested that the man may have died while working or during a ceremony held near the city walls. Even more instructive is the man's posture, with his hands placed on his waist and his body pointing to the east. It has religious significance as when he was buried, he would have been laid to rest looking towards the city of Jerusalem. Knowing the early influence of Christianity there, the pieces all fit together. Could he have been the very first Christian giant? It's entirely possible. Number one, Gigantopithecus blackie. This is the most scientifically intriguing discovery of extra large humans that's ever been made. While ordinarily we expect that very few of our prehistoric ancestors or cousins ever grew taller than modern day humans, there are other primates that are heavier than we are. They are, of course, the lowland gorillas that we know and love. However, even they aren't taller than we are, even standing up on their hind legs. But in prehistoric times, hundreds of thousands of years ago, we weren't the only bipedal hominid on the planet. Other species of primates walked around on two legs between the jungles and savannas of Africa. The most notable as the would-be basketball stars among them were members of a humongous ape species 
called Gigantopithecus blacki. Scientists today claim that they may have stood up at towering heights of 10 feet tall for hundreds of thousands of years. In fact, they probably only went extinct a few hundred thousand years ago. What does that mean? Our early evolutionary ancestors existed alongside them. Imagine being a caveman and your neighbors are 10 feet tall and weigh twice as much as you. The Gigantopithecus species may have been the closest things to Bigfoot or the Sasquatch that ever existed in real life. In fact, it's possible that surviving pockets of these creatures into early human prehistory inspired the oral legends of the Bigfoot and Sasquatch cryptids. If a few isolated members of these species survived until 50,000 years ago, early Homo sapiens would have known about them, probably feared them. Which of these giant prehistoric skeletons did you think was the most interesting? What story is most believable? Do you think we really did have oversized genetic cousins thousands of years ago? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe now if you haven't already, and I will see you next time right here on The Biggest.